Hey guys, this is going to be a really short tutorial today and this is going to be about what people have asked and it's about um, head bobbing or something that happens, say you're running with your character and then your head would realistically bob in real life like you can see there that I'm running now. Now, I'm not really going to show you how to program this because there's already a good example on the Unify Wiki. I'll put the link in the description but if you go on to a web browser and you put the link in, you get unity3d.com and then you get the head bobber script which is written in javascript and all this is is I'll, I'll put this on my website so everybody can find that more easily if they want to and I've set it out in a way that maybe people can understand more and all it's doing is looking at um, a bobbing speed and a bobbing amount and a midpoint the speed, the bobbing speed obviously is the speed at which um, the camera bobs up and down the bobbing amount is how far up and down it goes and the midpoint is whereabouts the middle of your camera should be so if you set this really high your camera will float in the air really high so all it's doing is doing a timer for every time that you move horizontally or vertically with your um, keyboard inputs and then when you do so it's going to do a mathematical calculation to move um, the actual camera up and down dependent on what variables you originally set so all you really need to do is copy that script from there or I'll put it on my website as I said so you may, you have a JavaScript file you can call it whatever you want and you can add it to your main camera once you add it to your main camera bobbing speed is set to 0 0.18 which is quite good and then the amount 0 0.2 and then the midpoint is usually set to 2 but I've set it to 1 so obviously when we play this you can see you know it looks fairly realistic if I push it up quite far you'll notice that it bobs pretty fast I'll put it all the way back down and I'll put the boring amount up you'll notice that it's quite crazy so obviously you can make different types of I suppose player controller and if we change the midpoint you'll notice that the camera goes quite high so we could obviously make something like a, um, a big giant or something like that so if we increase that increase that you get something quite like you could imagine being a giant or something with giant footsteps now as I said that's all that I'm gonna show because it's already written out for you so make sure you check that script out and um, if anybody's wondering the survival island tutorials are coming soon I'll make a little short video showcasing the update thanks very much for watching and as ever don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers